The Bison football team has one more game in the Fargo Dome this season with their season on the line this weekend. The winner moves to Frisco, the loser goes home. The Bison are facing the Incarnate Word Cardinals who have been on quite the Cinderella run, highlighted by their shootout in the quarterfinals. The Cardinals survived the shootoutiest of all shootouts in the quarterfinals. Incarnate Word defeated Sacramento State 66 to 63. It's the highest scoring game in the history of FCS football that featured over 1300 yards of offense. That's in one game. There were eight touchdowns in the fourth quarter alone featuring five lead changes. Incarnate Word finally put things away with a 21 yard touchdown pass from star quarterback Lindsey Scott with just 27 seconds left on the clock. We asked Coach Matt Entz about his biggest takeaway from this game and what you learned the most about Incarnate Word. I think you saw the quarterback make some plays. I mean, there was one play drives right after big returns. They forced some turnovers as well uh, during the course of the game, but um, there's a lot of areas we need to make sure that we're, we're prepared for, and he can hurt you with, with either side, of, with, with his legs or his arm, and defensively, they do enough and they've and just got enough of personnel that they'll create some negative plays. I mean, they got 40-plus sacks this year and um, seem to make a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage. Now, the Bison have been on fire defensively in the playoffs, holding Samford to nine points in their quarterfinal game, the Bulldogs' lowest total against an FCS team this season. They need to keep that up against a dominant incarnate word offense. Now, we'll, hit, we'll, we'll hear from some members of the Bison roster tonight at 10. Otherwise, that's pretty much all we have. As you can imagine, with the weather outside, uh, everything right. else has been canceled. They were supposed to have a few uh, high school basketball mm -hmm. games, but, uh, you know, those aren't happening tonight. So stay safe yeah. at home. And that's a good move. Conditions just deteriorating. Let's go back to Hutch for an update. Hutch. All right, thanks so much, Stacy and Devin. The snow flying, some of the heaviest flakes out there just north and to the west of us. And this kitty cat here, the Arctic cat, Ozzy, in Jamestown, not impressed at all with the weather that's going on out there. We're getting reports of a band of heavy snow up here near Ada, pushing north into that Crookston area. That extends down into Oaks, where we have nine plus inches of snow and counting some ice out here in Detroit Lakes. And we showed you a cormorant getting thunder sleet with this system five to nine for many isolated nine to 12. This is on top of what you have. Wet heavy snow that's this is through Thursday. Also another batch comes through. We will get a little break Wednesday midday at times passing light snow. Then another band Thursday morning adds to the nonsense. And for some of us, we get to have the pleasure of more snow Friday and into Saturday from this same Colorado low. Believe it or not, it just keeps on giving. It's like the jelly of the month club. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, exactly like that. Thanks, Ted. We'll see you at 10. Closed captioning is brought to you by Menards.